people this is Keith the Minister doing my let's play Minecraft series using the Forge mod loader and the Die Wolf 20 mod pack see this is season 3 this is uh, this is Minecraft 1.7 okay in the last episode I got I got started in uh, I got started with Batania and now we're gonna do uh, some more at least a little bit more with Batania today um, so first I want to just make a little um, I want to fill in this hole here so we have a little bit of a larger of a flat area. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is, I guess one of the things about, you know, lots of mods, uh, they have their own power systems. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, I need more dirt than I thought I did. Uh, so, uh, like, <clears throat> Buildcraft has mine, Minecraft jewels, although I guess it's, transitioning over to uh, red, red flux and uh, thermal expansion has red flux um, um, Thomcraft has V which is kind of like power for in a magic mod and uh, can't remember what it's called now um, EU what is that um, industrial craft he's the EU anyway so Britannia has mana. Mana is like the the power system for um, Britannia. So, uh, so we need to generate mana, and you generate with flowers, particular flowers. If we look in, I have it in here. Um, Sika Britannia. There are these things called generating flower, flora, generating flora, and generating flora uh, make mana. And uh, the the very first tier, the first kind of flower is called the day bloom, and it doesn't produce very much, but it produces it basically for free from the sun while the sun is shining. <clears throat> the thing is, is that uh, I think it's the only one you can make. Bef Right now, I don't have any mana, and I think the day bloom is the only one you can create when you don't have any mana at all. So it's kind of like where we have to start. So let's go ahead and make one. So we need to add, add a little bit of water in here. And you know, this is annoying. Let's, um, I saw someone do this in a Let's Play. So, and I might, I'll probably fancy this up at some point. Now we have one. And I think when I'm, we're going to spend a couple episodes just getting started on certain mods. And then, and, and then we got to, I'm going to start working and <clears throat> doing work on, uh, we just get above the thing a little bit. It makes it easier. Um. Oh, we need to get work, uh, get to work on generating blocks, especially decorative blocks for building a house or some kind of structure over by the tree. Because at that point, we're going to move, we're going to move over to the to a new base. But, but I'm like, I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait forever to start building something this time. Um, okay, so day bloom. Here's the recipe. Uh, here's the recipe. Okay, so we need two yellow petals, blue, light blue, and orange. Yellow, yellow, light blue, and orange. So let's see what we got. This is light blue. Let's take two of those. I only have four of these flowers, four of the yellow flowers, which is not good. And orange, 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 orange. We have lots of oranges. Okay, so let's get some petals and see how many of these things we can make. Oh yeah, we need a seed. You put, you throw the flowers into the petal apothecary, and then you throw in a seed. So I need to have some seeds. And there we go. <clears throat> so I guess we should get these things into the hot bar. 
I'm used to, I'm kind of been trained, I guess, by Thalmcraft, by Thalmcraft's version of doing things to, you know, you throw the pedals in, or, you know, like with the, uh, is it the cauldron, the, the, when you, you throw things into the Thalmcraft, it's called a cauldron, um, you got to throw things in and then and do it quickly before things bad things happen. I don't know that bad things happen if you leave the petals in the apothecary just sitting there. I could test that. Okay, so we got... I like how they make noises because they're swimming around or something. Okay. There we go. There's one. And let's make another one. Oh, I need more water. Oh, the bucket's right here. There, okay, so we got two. Two day blooms. Okay, so, and I guess what we'll do is we'll put them right here. And I understand that it's less efficient. They they absorb the sunlight, but not just sunlight that's hitting on them directly, but like the sunlight that's hitting the squares around them. Or on like here, 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 and here. So you don't want you don't want another flower right next to it. And in fact there's like this that those particle effects mean means <clears throat> they're interfering. You could pick them up, which is nice. Okay, so it's most efficient to have them spaced apart. Now, what we need to do is we need to make another couple of contraptions because those things, they make mana and they store mana, but they only store a little bit, so we need some other place to store them. And actually, we're gonna already have the thing to store them, which is the mana pullers. I made a mana, I made a mana, I made a mana pool in the last episode. You make that from living rock, but we need a way. We need a way to. Oh, I guess I don't need the iron. I don't know. I'm going in there. <clears throat> we need a way to be able to check on how much, like mana is in something, and we need a way to get the mana from the flowers to the pool. Here is the pool I already made. Diluted mana pool. It's the first tier mana pool, I guess. Okay, so if I look in the book. make a wand of the forest okay so <clears throat> so we just need three twigs and some petals and we can use any petals we want how do I make the twig I thought that would tell me okay so we just need some of this one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's three of those. Cool. But you know, I guess it would be nice to have a uh, crafting station down here. A craft, yeah, crafting station. Because I got one right here. Don't need to do that. Okay, so we can get crafting table, crafting station. Okay, so we need, so what do I have a lot of? I have a lot of these. And I already have a purple, blue and purple, blue and red, blue and red, blue and light blue. Let's go blue and red. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go. Okay, so if I take this, let me right click. Oh, wait, actually, you don't need that. Oh, wait, right click updates it. So now they're actually already full. Right. And the sun is. Where's the sun? It's really. I guess it's behind those trees. It's going to be dark soon. So let's go sleep through the night. Now we need to make a mat, what's called a mana spreader, which is what's going to move the mana from the flowers to. The mana pool. Since it's not so the sun's not quite down all the way, so let's find out what it takes to make a mana spreader. Okay. There. 
Okay, so we just need, oh, we need some gold. So Fortune, I have some gold, a petal and some living wood. Okay, so let's grab some gold and sleep through the night. Oh, I need some living wood. Okay. So I think it was like that, right? Then gold and a petal. There we go, mana spreader. Okay, let's set this stuff away. I had to plant those flowers somewhere, so they're out of my way. I'm gonna put these seeds in here too. Another book. Okay. <coughs> So, the mana spreader needs to point from the flowers to the mana pool. I actually don't, well, let's see. I put it right, put it right there. And then I put my wand there. Okay, so, all right, it's already, see there's that, there's a bar right there underneath the word. And it's got a little bit of green in it. And it got that green from these guys. So that's very slowly gonna fill up. And there's an ender, probably an ender mini. There's an enderman around here. I've, I can see this, I can see the particle effects. It's an ender mini. I have killed a few. I have some armor on and I have a better sword. But one time it kill, I killed it and it killed me. But I've not yet, got, yet gotten any, I've not, oh, he's gonna kill me. I didn't hit him, I didn't hit him that fast enough. Oh, let's go get my stuff. I have not yet gotten an ender pearl from killing one, though. Oh, well, there's another. There's two of them. Oh, great. I don't even have any weapons. Yes, I got a pearl. Oh, no, not another. Ugh. I did get another pearl though. Which is what we want. Having more, more, more. There's all kinds of things I need. There's all kinds of things that require either a diamond or a pearl in, in a, this mod. And I don't have, I don't have any diamonds yet. So if I get more pearl, ender pearls, that is a really good thing. Let's say, let's get that thing. Where is he at? Ah, oh, those things really hit hard, and you can't. Of course, one of the tricks to finding to fighting um, Endermen is to get under a ledge. You know, um, get a little space that's only two blocks high. Get under there, but where you can still hit him, because then he can't get to you because they're too tall. But of course, the Ender uh, Mini is only one block high, so he can get he can get anywhere. Uh, he can get to you. You can't. A trick on one. Okay, I didn't get an Ender Pearl that time. But I got so I got one more. Excellent. Uh, where's my way up? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Maybe maybe they're a little bit like maybe Ender Minis are a little bit like. Uh, like um, pigmen, and they they all get angry at you, and maybe. That's not something I meant to do. Where are you at? I'm gonna spend all my time fighting Ender minis. Okay, let's let's skip all that. Uh, oh, I have a bunch of chests in my inventory because I'm running out of space. So, and I was gonna do this on camera. I'm gonna and there's not much space in there for more chests. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the ghetto thing. Is that a bad thing to say? Um, and and do some storage outside. So, and I'll, I'll rearrange things uh, in between episodes. Okay, oh yeah, so we want to see, where's my wand? We want to see if we can. Um, yeah, it's getting quite a bit. Okay, so, we, oh yeah, we, so we don't have the mana pool down yet. Okay, so the, uh, you can see this beam. When I have the wand in my hand, you can see the beam. That's where, it's not actually shooting any mana right now because it only shoots the mana out 
if uh, it's got a destination, a uh, valid destination, right? And this thing man doesn't hold mana, and that thing doesn't hold mana. So we need uh, something that holds mana, and that thing is the is the mana pool. Now you can turn this thing and point it in the right in the direction you want it to go. But since it's already pointing this way, we'll just put the mana pool down here. <coughs> Um, so, so the beam is hitting the mana pool, and it's filling up with mana. And we don't get any of the numbers, so we got this bar, and we can see that it's holding a little bit, a little bit of mana. So everything is working. So now all I have to do is make more of those things and get mana faster. I suppose if I have any more... Let's see how much time I have. I think I probably want to go do something else. Um, yeah. I'll make more... I will make more of these day lily, day blooms uh, in between episodes every once in a while, but I need to go looking for more flowers, especially uh, yellow flowers, the yellow mystical flowers. I don't have as many of those as I do of the other, as I have of the other colors, but, um, but I'll do that. So we'll get a good supply of those. And then after we have, after we have a good amount of mana in this pool, we can start making other flowers that give you mana more quickly than those things do. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is start with uh, start uh, doing stuff in uh, Foamcraft. So um, to get, I guess I should have left that in the box. Okay, I am not organized yet. Um, so we need to make a, a wand and a thumbnomicon. Okay, so to make a wand, um, the most basic wand is one is a wand that you can make in a normal crafting table, which is good because. We don't have, until we have the, you know, you have to get started somewhere. So we just need a stick and some iron caps. And iron caps are made with from iron nuggets. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we need to grab an, two ingots and turn them into nuggets and then make two caps out of that. Right? And then we just need a stick. And that gives us an iron capped wand, which is not going to have any charge in it yet. So I need to find... Thing. I actually I don't know if you need any charge in your wand to make the Thalmogonomicon. I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we need some more books. And I still have some of the... I can, that's probably enough. I need some more string, which actually we don't have enough of. Yeah, so first we'll make some string. Because you can make book. There's a recipe for books that uses string, paper, and blank patterns. And since we don't have any leather yet, there are cows... There are some cows around, but I haven't really killed them yet. That's another thing to do, I guess, in an episode, is start petting animals. <clears throat> cows and pigs and chickens, but anyway, that'll be later. Okay, so let's find the recipe for books. So here, this is what we want. One, two, three. We need three books. Oh, I had enough, just enough strength for that. Okay, now we need to make one of these, so I need some... I don't have any... Hardly any wood planks. Okay, there we go. Now we can make this. Okay, so let's put that away. Okay, so now we have, uh, if I'm remembering this right, we place that down and we right click it with the wand. Yes, and we get a Thalmonomicon, which just popped into my inventory. Okay, so and here is the very first stuff. Various things to make. Okay. I wonder. No, I also want to make. We got different kinds of caps. I'm looking for artifice. This. We want to make this. Cool. Oh, so I need some shards, and I have not gotten any shards yet. I'm pretty sure that there's some not too far away. I've seen shards around. I'm infused stone, but I just haven't. Uh, at this point, I haven't yet um, harvested any of it. Like here's some right here. We only need two. Any two shards will do. Those two, and I have three. That'll be enough. And we need some glass and some gold. I made some glass. Did I show making glass? I I made some glass. So I have some glass because I knew I would need glass for something eventually. Very various things. So we need, let's look up the recipe again. Let's see, so, oh, two gold shards and glass. Okay. There's my glass. Gold and shards. Excellent. 
And now I just start scanning everything. I don't have enough. See, I have to look. There, I got something. Let's see if I can get, I can do grass now. No. But I should be able to do dirt, I would think. Let's find some dirt, and it's going to be dark soon. But basically we just gotta, we have to, what was that? Oh, I had dirt in my inventory already. We gotta scan all the things. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Sleep. Let's see how much if I have a chance to do anything else. I might. I could. Maybe I should make a research table. We have two minutes. Let's see. What does it take to make a research table? Research. Yes, I got. So I've been doing. I know how to do that. We gotta make ink. Oh, I. So I need some ink sacks. I've not done that. Combining aspects. Let's just show how to make the research table. Did I miss it? Here we go. Two tables and um. Oh, okay. So uh, you put two tables in the world next to each other and then right click it with scribe and tools. And tables is really easy. Okay, so I need ink, ink, ink sacks. Let's see if I can go kill a squid real fast. Well, there's, actually, you know what? I, I remember seeing lots of squid off the off the point here. I have wandered around here a number of times looking for mystical flowers. I think they regrow slowly because I've gone through the same area and found flowers twice. Not as many flowers the second time. That was my impression. I could be remembering this wrong. So, the water is rather deep out here. We got the coral there glowing, which is rather nice. I'm glad there are no sharks in Minecraft. I'm going for the ones that are near, near the surface. Or should they're kind of far away. No, and that one is going down. And there's my timer. Ugh, oh, here we go. Come here. killed one, I think, but I don't think I got an ink sack for it. That's why I'm afraid if I'm in deep water, the ink sacks, um, you know, if I don't get, if the ink sack just doesn't pop into my inventory real quick, I'll, it'll float down to the bottom and I'll never find it because it's so dark down there and I won't be able to hold my breath long enough. Oh. Is that one there? Maybe there's some right over there by the sand. I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try to get an ink sack here before the episode is up. If there's if there's some squid right here, otherwise I'll just have to. Yeah, I don't see. Any. This would be the perfect spot for squid for me. This would be perfect for me, not for them, but it would be for me. Oh well, there is some clay here. I think. Did I see some clay? Oh, well, I guess I saw the gravel. Oh, here's some clay. Okay, I guess we'll just get some clay. Because there's various things clay is good for, like Tinker's Construct. We need to get started with Tinker's Construct, too. Okay, there's another ye a yellow mystical flower. This guy's nice. Okay, oh, I can't talk. Well, we'll wrap it up there. I will work on getting ink uh, in between episodes, and we'll uh, do a little thumbcraft in the next episode. Okay, so 
This has been Keith Modesto playing Modern Minecraft. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.